Okay, so we are going to do the fish method with fractions, basically. Um, so we're going to do cross products of proportions. Henry, I saw you touch the ceiling. Huh? I saw you touch the ceiling. Oh, yeah. Out of the practice. Okay, so should we do free problem sets? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. So I don't know how to do it. Let's get our paper out. Okay, I'm going to just start with something that's not, uh, this is not for a free problem set. If I had something like this, how do you find, how do you find N? What do you do? Wait, this is for a practice. Yeah, this is just review. Fish method. So, fish method. so what do you do? So you multiply 9 times 8 and then divide by 6. Okay, so it's 9 times 8 is 72 divided by 6 is 12. 12. Okay. So, any questions on that? No, sir. All right, so this is what the only thing we're doing today is the same thing, except instead of numbers like this, we're going to have fractions. Can you give so, us it's still multiply and divide. Can you give us okay. more practice before free problem set? Nope, here it is. Here it is, example one. So, it's a fraction over a fraction. That's right. You know when your pen's not on? How do you turn a pen on? We had to hit the button. Okay, you ready? I'm going to write the last fraction. Ready? What? 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 Oh, this is easy, bro. No, it's. Oh, I got it. Okay. I still don't know what's going on. But it's going to take me a while. Let's just roll with it. <laughs> bro. Hold up. Bring me. You don't know what's going on, Emerson? Uh, so fish method. So you can still do the fish method with that, even though it's fractions. It'll just take a little longer. Yeah, it takes a little longer. You know how to multiply and divide fractions, right? Totally. Yeah. You don't. Perfect. I need to take attendance because I, I failed last period. I failed. Yeah, I heard that. I got my answer. No, you don't, actually. I do. But I'm going to do it again. So don't come check, Mr. Black. Well, what if Austin needs it? <laughs> What'd you get? Oh, no, you got that. This okay. I have no idea. Okay. What? Do you Anyone know? else? No. I got it. I don't get it. You just do you do the fish method? No. Nope. All right. So what? I know exactly what you're talking about. Maybe two. I don't know what to divide. Like I don't know which one to fuck. So that's. Well, what, what did you do here? You multiply these, right? And then you divide it by the third number. Yeah. So what are you multiplying? And what are you dividing by? I multiplied one fifth and two thirds. Divided by five. Then do it. Is Austin wrong, too? Yes. Oh. Oh, what'd you get? shoot. I don't have a right answer yet. Uh, so there's still time. All right. Uh, I don't have an eight answer yet. Oh, I, I did because I still said the wrong number. Oh, sir, please don't do it. Don't do it. that word. Mr. Black? Mr. Black? I got it. I don't know. Probably both. Probably something that I don't know. No. I have a stock and duct tape. I got it. But no pencil. Mr. Black? What do you get? Do you need a pencil? Oh, I got it. Let's go. I'll give you some little answer. Bro, the free problem set? Yeah. Yeah. Anyone else have an answer? Take a few more seconds. Um, good job, Austin. Good job, Jason. Hold on. Wait. Oh, don't. Hold on. Just a minute. Uh, never mind. Hello. 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 Hello.
A wrong answer. That's what I got. I got a wrong answer too. I got two wrong answers. I can get A answer. <laughs> Why? I got 56 bucks. Oh. I got it wrong. Okay, um, so let's do the fish method, right? Ben, walk me through this. What am I multiplying and what am I doing? You uh, go up. I don't know how to do the fish method. <laughs> you don't? No. Well, that's the problem. Here, who knows how to do the fish method? Yeah. I know. Okay, Xavier, I know. what do you do? Uh, you multiply two thirds by one fifth. Okay. Which gives you two fifteenths. Okay, good. And then divide by 48. All right. So uh, here's the problem two thirds uh, times one fifth divided by five eighths. I did the wrong way. Yeah, hey, you've done did. problems like this I before. Did it that way. So, how do you do it? You copied out, plot the division. That so, this is just two thirds times one fifth times eight fifths. <laughs> I got right? one number wrong. Okay. A lot of you did it upside down. That's yeah. what you did. So I, I just did it the other way. So you uh, you flipped this fraction instead of this fraction. So you can uh, there's not really any cross reducing. So you just multiply across 16 70 fifths. I got, I got 70. Yep. Yeah, so see how you flip the wrong. You just flip the wrong thing. That's it. Oh, no, I actually you know, did. I did the fish the wrong way. Okay. Yeah, I did the fish the wrong way. Me and Austin did. Okay. okay. Wait, Right here, sorry. Right here is your redemption. Here's example two. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. X over three fourths oh. equals oh, equals one third over two fifths. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. Guys, they won't get a free promise. Okay, I'm working. Right. Right? Okay. Yeah, this is black. The same right. This is black. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. What is it? it should be an alarm. All right, hey, right. hey, uh, just right. Austin, awesome. what do you get? Austin, awesome. what's that alarm? Hey, 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 no. hey, 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 just right. Hey, hey. Is this right? Is this right? No. Dang it. Mine right? Oh, what? No. No. Mm -hmm. right, don't use a calculator. What? What? I don't understand how I got a call. <laughs> okay, let me try this. Okay. No. What? Oh, of course. Okay. But that was, that was right. So I'll give it. Um, yeah, I'm yeah, giving yeah, Henry yeah, the free yeah. one, but I'm giving you the coupons. All right. Okay? I am very confused. Oh, my bad, my bad, okay. My who bad. else? Wait, wait, I got it. Do it. Well, well, we you got, got it yeah. with Austin, unfortunately. But, you didn't have the answer. Oh, no. They just helped me. I hope that's unfortunate. They just helped me. Yeah, get Okay. All right, so okay, man, um, a lot of you guys did it without reducing. Don't forget, that's the joy of multiplying and dividing fractions, right? So walk me through this, Emerson. Okay. You do three, three fourths times one third times five over two. Yep, so times five over or divided by two fifths. I'm going to do that first. And then he, but he just skipped to this three fourths times one third times five halves, right? What'd you get? What'd you get? Five eighths. Yeah. Let's go, Ben. Okay. All right. So now, Emerson, mm -hmm. if you walk me through this, I'll give you the, I'll give you a coupon. Yeah. So now what? Okay. Multiply them. Is oh, this no, what I you can't. did originally? Not yet. You got it. 
common denominator. No, you don't need a common denominator. You don't, no. you don't need a common denominator when you multiply or divide. That's the beauty of multiplying and dividing. You don't need it. If you do get one, it doesn't hurt you. It just means you're wasting your life. Okay? You don't want to do that. But what you could do is what? Henry, what can you do to make this easier? You can reduce before you multiply. Yeah, so look. Boom, boom. Have to do that. I always can you can you um uh what and uh, then the one and two well that would just give you one and two so it wouldn't change you can take a what you divide one out of it uh, and it still gives you one and two okay. so you could just multiply across and and this is what these what these two did they multiplied across they got 15 24 but that reduces to uh -huh. what is it emerson Five eights. Five eights. Or 1080 over 12. I cross reduced. Yeah, so that's when you got the uh, common denominator. So yeah. see how that's more work than you need to do. Yeah. And that's harder to reduce. Okay, so everyone gets a coupon. Henry gets a free problem set. But I got it first. No, Henry got it before. Are we doing any more? Yeah, do more. Do more. Do more. Yeah, I might. Like... Hey, whoa, whoa. Oh, wow. oh damn. Dude. Well, she's a daughter. Me and Austin get two since we were first for two coupons. No. Uh, Can I get one just because uh, I'm really yeah. No, you, you're getting one because you walked me through that. Oh, let's go. I walked you through. Nice I'm, job. I'm like a. So, guys, this is lesson 59. That's it. Another one. One more. One more. So, oh, we're going to do lesson more, 16. One more. One more. One more. Almost, and there might be some options in lesson 60, so one more, one more, one more. Mr. Black, you know what I may do? I was going to do guys. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Yeah, all right. Mr. Black, can we do another method? No, um, we're gonna do a little geometry. Raise your hand if you like geometry better than algebra. No, I'm okay. You don't like either. Okay. I played the fifth. Raise your hand if you hate algebra more than geometry. Fish. Okay. <laughs> geometry is way worse. Like All right. So we're going to talk about like circumference and area of a circle. Oh, no. see circumference. No. Why couldn't it just be the word yeah. circle? Why? Are you going Why? We're being bullied. Why are you bullying me? Why you better give us pie. Ha, 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 ha. Come on, just one right. So in a circle. In a circle. I can only we've got like a flat tire. Yes. Looks like an egg. Tell me about your face. I think that's a tree. It's more like a what? Okay, what's the distance around the circle called? Diameter. Circumference. Circumference. Jamal. Stop it. Stop Calm down, Jamal. Don't call me Jamal. Okay, so you got your the circumference. Burn. What about this, guys? What about uh, this thing that goes through the center of the radius. circle? Radius. That's the radius. This is not a radius. What Diet. is it called? Diet. 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 Radius is half layer, right? Yes. <laughs> so the radius. Would be like this, right? So you got the radius. Yeah, so. All right, and then you got this. Um, and then so this line, hey guys. So basically, any line segment that connects the center of the circle to any point on the circle, this is actually the circle. This is not the part of the circle. This is inside the circle, but this is the circle. And the way you define a circle is this now listen carefully because if you tried to actually define a circle without using the word circle it's wow. difficult uh, no it's easy it's a round thing that goes around it has tons and tons and so tons this, of this is a round thing okay but <laughs> that's a round thing but it, it, it goes in like a circle <laughs> it goes in like a circle it goes in a loop it goes it goes like this Okay, so here's the definition. It's a collection of, of points that are the same distance from a given point, which we call the center. Uh, so all these points are the same uh, distance away from the center. You just huh? that guy. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> if this was drawn perfectly, I'm 
Yeah. Usually it's pretty good. Just your flat. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What about your head? What about your head, Austin? It's a little bit off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If that was a very well drawn circle, um, then yes. It was yes. But theoretically, guys, you guys get it. It's the same distance away from that center, everywhere around. That distance is actually called the radius. Okay. So um, have you ever heard this in like cop shows? All right, I'm going to set up uh, a five mile radius. I have. We're going to do a search of five mile radius. That means five miles in every direction. I don't watch enough TV. Okay, so it's a big circle. You don't watch this. Okay, there's one more definition. Sure. What if you have just. Oh, are you good? <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, uh, we need to settle down. Uh, I was just trying to circle. Focus here. Kind of this is just uh, a line segment that connects two random points on a circle. Yeah. As opposed to a diameter, which goes through the center. What's this called? It starts with a CH, but it's not pronounced CH. Huh? Think music. Think music. Oh, the choir. Sphere. The choir. The choir, but that's close. Oh. Sphere. Uh, that doesn't start with the CH. Uh, why? Why? Uh, this is called a chord. Okay. Oh. So, guys, listen, we don't need to comment on the chord. Be quiet, please. So, a diameter is still a chord, it's just the chord that goes through the center. Okay? So do you understand what a chord is? Yeah. Okay, so do no, you understand what a sure diameter is? Yes. Okay, so now look at this. If I were to take this diameter, which is bigger than this, but if I were to take this diameter and wrap it around the circle, how many times do you think this blue line would wrap around the circle? Two. No. Um, One half. Three. Two and a half. One, third. Only one half. Of that. No. How many? How many times do you think it would go around? How many of these do you think I could fit around the circle? Two and a half. Three. Two. Three. Yeah. A little over three. So if you took this blue line and you wrapped it around the circle, it would be a little bit more than three, which is pi. Okay. So pi literally means. You listening? So pi is how many diameters fit around a circle. That's it. So it's basically, and what do we call that? The circumference, right? So how many diameters are so in a circumference? 3.14 inch. No, the how many diameters are inside? So if I divide the circumference by a diameter, how many diameters fit around the circle? Then that's pi. Okay. So your this is how you, this is your circumference. Circumference pi diameters. How many diameters? Pi. So pi is just a number. Right? So that's an estimation of pi. But remember, and this is we're going to do this for pi day again. If you tell me as many digits of pi as you can, you're going to get a ten dollar gift card to the restaurant of your choice. So any restaurant of my choice. Or the place of your choice. Like Chick-fil-A or whatever. Home Depot. Okay. Can, can I get a uh, gift card? <laughs> can I get a no. gift card? That's like money. Oh, that's what it is. It's ten, somebody just gave you 10 bucks. So you got a $10 gift, gift card at Amazon. That's like 10 bucks. No, yeah, I'm I'm gift card. I've done that. <laughs> okay, guys, listen, listen, yeah, listen, listen. Okay, so pi is just a number. So you can use that in a in your daily life. You can say, hey, how many pieces of cake do you want? Three, I'll have one. pi pieces of cake. Right. So they have to give you three plus part of another one. Why? You can use that as a number. Why would you ever use that as a number? So you can say, hey, pick a number between one and 10. Okay, pi. Because pi is, uh, is in between one and 10. Mr. Black, okay. I just created something great. I created a fish problem and listen 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 I'm listening. we can do it and i have the answer and if austin gets it 
then we get a free problem set. But if you get first, then we get one taken away. You're going to give the answer to Austin? Whoa. No, no. And, and we should. And then Austin. Austin, you better go fast. Okay. Well, all right. We'll do that at, at the end of this. Austin, ready. Okay. Put the pressure on him. All right. So <laughs> circumference is pi times diameter. So, guys, if I had a problem like this, if I had um, a circle, then I had a radius of five inches. What's the circumference of this circle? Hey, Emerson? 15. No. Yes. What? No. Hold on, hold on. 33. Hold on. Three. No. Nope. <laughs> 10 inches. Okay. Well, you just found the diameter, but not the circumference. Oh, oh, okay. 20. Oh. Oh, um, um, it's like 30. it's like 30 points or something. No, it's gonna be even number. So how do you find the circumference again? What do you do? What do you multiply? Um, it's the 30, I got it. It's I got it. Point four. Mr. Black, I got it. That's it. What'd you get? You use my uh, three one point four. <laughs> That's what yep, Ben just said. So this is approximately. Hey guys, and instead of an equal sign, I have to do this. This means approximately because 3.14 is not pi. It's just an estimation of pi. Okay, but we're going to use 3.14 times what's the diameter? Uh, right. So you're only given the radius, which is half the diameter. So now when you multiply, you get. How do you multiply a decimal number by 10? What do you do? You Just move the decimal it. over one place. Good, very good. All right, now, yeah. here's the other thing that we're gonna talk about today. Are you guys listening? Yeah. So listening means no talking. It's impossible to talk and listen intently at the same time. Oh. All right, now this is, there's no fun little demonstration I can show you that explains this, but this is pi r squared. Okay, now, um, so you just, this is a formula which is probably easier just to memorize, but if you forget how to find the circumference, you could probably figure it out by that, by wrapping that diameter around. Oh yeah, that's a little over three, so three, yeah, pi times diameter. Okay, but with area, it's a little bit harder to remember. So you just have to memorize this. Here's the way I memorize it. Well, not really. But here's a suggestion on how you can memorize it. So um, our math teacher in uh, Arvada used to live down the street from a pizza place. It's kind of like Little Caesars. What's different about Little Caesars pizza than every other pizza? It's just It's just disgusting. No, it's amazing. Those no, what's different about Little Caesars? It's, it's better than Little uh, size. Ooh. Not the size, but the shape. What shape is Little Caesars pizza? A rectangle? Seven. Yeah, the rectangle. What's okay, that? so. Those stop the cap. So the there is a, it's kind of like Little Caesars, but this it's restaurant, not. this pizza place didn't do round pizza. They did square pizzas. So you know what their pizza name was called? Square pizza. Our, yes. our pies are squared that's just, that's just awful the pi oh, are squared so that was the name of the pizza place our pies are squared so pi r squared could, could, is how you find the area mr black could i like not you could like not <laughs> okay all right um so Xavier literally can't even. I just can't even. Okay. So how do you find the area of this guy? Yes. Figure out the area. What's the area? Oh. 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 What are we doing? I can't see. Find the area of that same circle. What are they? Um, why would we do that? <laughs> Wait, seriously? Hold on. 246.4. Nope. I need to calculate it. Me too. I'll calculate it. I can go to the restroom. Yeah, take your time. You can be in there as long as you want. I think that's a joke. 
Yeah. Fifty-four seven. Nope. Seven. Seven. Oh, yeah. What'd you say? Seventy-eight point five. Seventy-eight point five. How'd you get that? I have multiplied twenty-five by three because five times five is yeah, five squared. Remember. Hi, R squared. So do that R for R square that R first. You're not squaring guys, you're not squaring pi times R. You're just squaring R. Okay, so this is times 25, which is approximately 78.5 square inches. Don't forget the square unit. All right, do another one. All right, ready? Three problems that. Let's find the area as fast as you can of this circle. Hey, can you like move? Can you like move? <laughs> the area? Find the area of that circle. For a free problem set. Area what? or circumference? Area. You got it? What, what do I do? Try. What? I didn't find it. Yeah. Do I get three bombs in? Nope, I didn't do it first, but I put it Okay, so you get it? Why are we listening? I like it. I like to. What are we doing? What are we doing? Okay. So Did you get an answer, Nathan? No. Mr. Black. Um, ben got the free problem set. You got another. Oh, that's a two. It's an R squared. Square? Square. No, not 20 squared. Yes. Okay, so that was the trick. I tried to trick you and I tricked I tricked Xavier. But remember, it's not pi times diameter squared, it's pi times radius squared. So the radius is 10. So 10 squared is 100. 100 times 3.14 is 314. Let's go! Xavier reached with like a fourth time. Okay. Sure. Thank <laughs> you.